Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome to the vlog. Um, so, today I'll be talking about easy drivetrain maintenance. So what I do usually after every 100 miles or a uh, rainy or muddy ride, what I'll do, I'll get, get yourself some handy dandy dirty rags here. Tyler, no, no, no. and get your chain lube of choice. I prefer Queen Ride Wax Lube from a company called White Lightning. And I get some Tri-Flow as well for a little bit more extra cleaning. It's also a lubricant, but I use it as a cleaning agent. So what I'll do first is I will backspin pedal of course and I already did it that's why I'm not trying to do it again um, I'll pour some tri flow all over the chain get the chain pretty saturated then I'll get one of my dirty rags and I'll pinch the side plates of the chain for a lot of rotations check how dirty the rag is turn the rag get another spot Pinch the side plates and keep looking how dirty the rag is until the rag, until I eventually get to a spot where the rag is clean, right? So once it gets to that point, then I'll know it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean, and I do this often so that the drivetrain doesn't get too worn out. Yeah, so I do this pretty often so that uh, the chain doesn't get too worn out, as well as the cassette. And so once I get to the point where the tri-flow cleans it up to a pretty good um, cleanliness of the rag, then I'll pinch. I, I put the gears in the big ring in the front and the second to the last big cog in the rear and I'll, which will put the, the jockey wheels in just the right position to pinch the jockey wheels from the back to get all the caked up grease and grime off the jockey wheel. Do the bottom jockey wheel first and then pinch the bo bottom jockey wheel first back spin, get the bottom jockey wheel nice and clean, and then you can pinch the top jockey wheel, get the top jockey wheel nice and clean, and that will clean up most of the grime. And then what I'll do, I'll pinch the bottom portion of the chain ring, the big chain ring, and, and hold up, being careful not to pinch my finger. It's good if you place your fingers against the frame so that your hand doesn't slide or slip down. And once you get to the crank arm part, you could just fold your towel in half. This is just a regular um, washcloth type size towel. Then you could just floss between the crank arm and the outer part of the chain ring to get that portion of the chain ring that you can't reach because of the crank arm. And then continue, pinch the, the big chain ring and back pedal and have your hand against the frame so that you do not, do not, do not grind your finger. The chain ring will cut your finger, so do this very slowly, very carefully, and not drunk. Emphasis on not drunk. And as long as you're pushing up with your hand and having your hand against the frame, the towel and your fingers should not get stuck into the chain and do it very slowly. Ok, 
okay. That's my word of caution. Then after that's done, I shake up my chain lube because this is this is wax chain lube, right? If you if you see it um, and it's been sitting for a while, the top part part will be kind of a clear hazy blue. The bottom part will have the wax. So you really have to shake this thing vigorously until it's all like a opaque white like blue actually and then what I do I just put my dirty rag against my wheel right here right between the spokes just like that let me move this so you can see it just like that and then I just ha have my hand against the rear derailleur and pour the chain loop onto it like that and it'll go onto each link while you're back pedaling and then do that for a few rotations and then once you're done with that tap your bottle and get your slightly cleaner dirty rag and pinch the side plates again rotate to get any excess lubrication off the plate and then lightly pull the top and pinch the top and bottom of the rollers lightly and back pedal to get any excess lubrication off the rollers and pretty much you're done if you do that after every ride or after every hundred miles or so you'll be good to go drivetrain will be looking clean and there you have it let me get the camera right here okay let me get the camera and there you have it okay. you will still have to scrub your cassette and things like that this is just for big chain ring and chain kind of quick stuff so scrub your cassette when you actually wash your bike that would be about it but your cassette would already be clean if you wash your bike first and then do what I did. That's a quick uh, five minute chain degreasing, slight degreasing and cleaning. That's what I do and it works and it's pretty easy. Bye for now. Like, comment, subscribe down below. If this helped you, definitely subscribe and stay tuned for more bicycle content. Have a great Monday. Bye.